as we help the toads make their way across the road to the nature reserve in Bodnam, Herefordshire, and lots of people are now saving them. Good on Hayley in Northumberland. And in Teesside says, I'm loving hearing about Hayley the toad girl. I love hearing about people who go all out to help nature. Forget celebrities, these people are the true heroes. I was thinking of that the other day, I thought, back when I was a kid in the 70s, the most exciting type of person was, you know, the, the guy, he played James Bond or something, you know, you're an actor, you're famous, you've got sunglasses, you've got spotlights, cameras. I do think that the, the, the modern film stars are the conservationists. They're the ones, the conservationists are the ones doing the glamorous work now. Andrea Sargent in Gatley in Cheshire, you were in Germany when you were growing up. Yes, correct. And was, that, was there a road there which was used by toads? Yes, so I'm, I'm going back quite a few years now, but yes, there was. There was a road that obviously must have, it seemed to be woodland on, on either side, so I'm guessing one side was the water and one side wasn't. But yes, so probably from about spring to October, um, and I think it was like in the evening time, the road was actually closed. Um, and it was, you know, it wasn't just a couple of cones put across the road. It was a proper purpose-built gate, that would be pulled across the road. And so cars were not able to use that road during those hours for about six months of the year. Well, I think that's fully good. I, it's, great. That, it's very humane, isn't it? It's, it's us thinking we don't have first place in the world. No, it was, no, it was great, actually. Maybe Thank we you. should be more German about it. Thank you, Andrea. Thanks, Ben. Mike, you've got a tow patrol near Bath. I'm assuming they don't close the road there. They do actually. It's, really? a, um, it's a it's a quiet lane on the eastern side of the city, and it's closed for six weeks when all the toads migrate down to their breeding grounds. We also help frogs and eats across the road. That's good. So, well, okay, that's that's lovely to hear. So, uh, do you count how many you've saved? We do. So um, Helen, who runs the patrols, has been doing it for twenty one years, and we collect all the data which we share with Frog Life. So it made a huge difference. though, before. Uh, the road was closed. About 62% of amphibians found were dead during the migration season. That's down to about 3% now. So Brilliant. The hundreds of volunteers that help, um, not just in Bath, but I think there's something like 200 tow patrols across the UK. As you say, all, <laughs> Wonderful. You know, huge difference. So if the road is closed, they're not at risk there. So I'm trying to work out why, why you needed to do it if the road is closed. So the road's temporarily closed. So I suppose it's just this 